Hi, I'm Jasmine from Employment Innovations. In this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the rostering function in Keypay. I'll take you through how to create a shift and publish it to an employee, how unassigned shifts work, how to create and use roster templates, and a few tips and tricks along the way. Let's jump in and take a look. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see some options for how you can view your roster. You can create roster filters like I have uh, for casual staff and then admin staff as well. You can group the roster by location or you can choose to see all the employees within your business at once. You can sort by employee, by role or by start time once you've got some shifts in your roster. You can also sort by shift status, whether they're published or unpublished or you can show all. And underneath that, you have the option to show the cost of each of the shifts as well. So this will show you the total amount that the employee will be paid for that particular shift. You've also got the option to include leave in the roster as well and show any unavailability that's been set by an employee. Under here, you've got a legend, which will show you what each of the icons in the roster shifts mean and also the roles in your organization as well. To create a shift in the roster, you can simply click next to the employee's name under the day you need the shift for, and you'll be able to select the start time, end time, add a break if you need to, and add a work type or a role if required, and also add a note. Once you hit save, you'll be able to see the cost of the shift if you do have the show costs option on. If you know you need a shift filled, but you're not too sure who's going to fill it yet, you can add the shift as unassigned and assign it later to an employee. To move a shift to a different day, you can simply drag the shift over to the next day. And if you need to copy the shift, you can hold control on your keypad and move it to the day that you need to copy it to. Once you're happy with your shifts for the period, you can then publish the shifts and this will notify your employees that they've been assigned shifts within the roster. They'll also be able to view the shifts in the employee portal and in the WorkZone app. If you have a regular roster with recurring shifts, for example, if you have some full-time employees who will always work the same shifts, you may like to create a roster template. To do this, you just click on Roster Actions and go into Roster Templates. If you click Add, you'll then be able to create a roster template based on the same principles as the roster itself. You can then pop a name in there and then that will save the roster. To apply the roster template, you can simply go into Roster Actions again, Roster Templates, select the template that you'd like to apply, and then hit Apply. This will pull across any of the shifts you saved in the template, which will save you a lot of time when rostering for each pay period. Rostering in Keypay allows you to create shifts, publish them out to your employees, and has a range of filters to ensure accuracy across your business and your locations. If you'd like to know more about employment innovations and how we can help you improve your current payroll processes, please get in touch and we'll be happy to help.